Hey guys, it's Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. Today is part four of the 2022 fall craft with me. I have five brand new fall crafts I think you're gonna love. Today I'm sharing a collection so everything matches. If you love a cohesive look, you're going to love this collection. Then you just need to grab some real or faux pumpkins and you are ready to decorate for fall. If you are new here to my channel, again, welcome. I love sharing home decor, cooking, and DIY here on my channel. So if those are videos you enjoy watching, click the subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Okay, you guys, grab yourself a hot apple cider or a pumpkin spice latte, sit back, relax, and let the fall crafting begin. For the first craft, I'm going to be making harvest corn using plastic toy baseball bats. These bats I had on hand, I got them at Walmart. You could check Dollar Tree as well. I'm gonna begin by wrapping some batting around the bat to give these a little fullness, and then I'm going to hot glue it onto the bat. Also, I'm not worried about the batting looking anyway since I'll be covering it with some fabric next. And this craft was inspired by carrots that I made for Easter and I'll include a link for that project in the description below. And this is how it looks once I have it wrapped in batting. Next, I'm going to cover the batting with fabric. I am using homespun fabric, but you could use whatever fabric matches your decor. I added a little ribbon of hot glue, and now I'm going to wrap my fabric over the batting. Once I have it wrapped in fabric, I'm gonna cut off the excess fabric. Next, I'm going to fold over the fabric so I have a nice seam, and I'm going to hot glue that to the back. Then I'm going to trim off the excess fabric on the bottom and fold it over and hot glue it to the back. And at the top, I'm going to add some hot glue on the inside and then attach some raffia. Next, I'm going to tie a piece of torn homespun around the top to close it up. and I pull it really tight so it's nice and secure. And then I trim off the excess fabric. Next, I'm making a stamp tag with the word harvest. I'm stamping that on a piece of torn muslin and I'm going to hot glue that onto the corn along with a button. And this is how one looks. I love it. It is so cute. You could put this anywhere in your home for fall, but I'm actually going to make a few more and attach them together. Then you can use it as a door hanger or even set it in a dobo. Anywhere in your home for fall would look super cute. I'm going to show you really quick how I made the other two. I'm doing the same as I did with the first one, except I'm using different fabric. For this one, I am using a different piece of homespun. And for the second one, I'm using muslin. Next, I'm going to tie twine around the three to hold them together. Then I am taking a piece of torn homespun and tying that over the twine. Next, I am taking raffia and sticking that underneath the twine so it gives it a really wispy look. Next, I moved my harvest tag that I made for the first corn and attaching it here along with a button. And finally, to hang this, I'm attaching some twine to the back and then I didn't have any popsicle sticks on hand, so I took a wooden letter from Dollar Tree and broke it apart and I'm going to hot glue that on top of the twine to hold it together. And this is how it turned out. I absolutely love it. This looks so pretty, hung on a door or in adobo for fall.
For the next craft in this collection, I'm gonna make a really pretty wall hanger using this plaque from Dollar Tree. I fold over some homespun fabric and wrap it around the plaque to make a pocket in the front and attach it to the back with hot glue. Once I have it wrapped around the way I like, I also trim off the excess fabric. And as I'm hot gluing it to the back, I wanna make sure it's nice and tight on the back, but the front, I want it to be a little loose so I have enough room to fill it. Next, I'm going to fill my pocket with polyfill to give it fullness. You can pick up polyfill at the craft store or use stuffing out of an old pillow, which actually I am using. Next, I'm going to add in some fall picks. I'm just using some things that I had on hand. I'm not even hot gluing them into the pocket, but you can if you'd like. Then I am adding a battery operated taper candle that is on a timer into the center. I just love the way this looks. I got this at a local shop, but I'll include a link for a similar one in the description below. Next, I wrap this with burlap ribbon, making a chunky knot, and then I'm going to make a stamp tag and I'm going to hot glue that on along with a button. And for the final touch, I am adding in some raffia along with some pit berry. And look how beautiful this turned out. This looks like something you would see at a fall craft festival. For the next craft in this collection, I'm going to make a really pretty candle holder using a can of Vienna Bites from Dollar Tree. Yes, a can of Vienna Bites along with this face from Dollar Tree and some spray paint. First, I'm going to open the can and dump out the Vienna Bites and clean it out and then remove the label. Once I have the label removed, I'm going to take it outside to spray paint. I'm using a gray. You could use whatever color you like. Next, I'm going to add hot glue to the inside rim of my can and then add my glass face. You could also use clear E6000 for a stronger permanent hold. Next, I made a knot in a piece of torn homespun and I'm going to hot glue that to the front of my candle. Next, I'm going to fill the jar with raffia. I then added a battery operated tea light that is on a timer. I'll include a link for those in the description below. And I also added a button. I felt this was missing something, so I decided to dry brush some white paint onto the base. I'm using folk art chalk paint in the color cottage white. I suppose I could have taken the homespun off and hot glued it back on, but I didn't. I just went around it and it was fine. And this is how it turned out. I love the way it looks. I'm so happy I did the dry brushing on the base too. And I love that you can use this year round, not just for fall. For the next craft in this collection, I'm going to make a pretty mason jar hanger using this mason jar hanger that I found at Dollar Tree. I remove the twine hanger and flip it over and I'm going to spray it with some spray adhesive. The spray adhesive I use is from Hobby Lobby and then I'm going to spray it with some spray glue from Dollar Tree. Next, I add my fabric on top. I'm using muslin and I smooth it out. Then I wrap the fabric around the edge and attach the excess fabric to the back with hot glue.
And this is how the front looks. Next, I'm gonna take a piece of homespun and attach it to the top. I trim off the excess fabric. Next, I'm going to take a long piece of twine, wrap it around, tie it to the back with hot glue, then wrap it around the front a few times, attaching it to the back with hot glue. And this is how the front looks. Next, I added a bow, but I did this probably too soon because I did remove it later on to add some raffia and then I attach it back on. Next, I'm gonna stain this pumpkin from Dollar Tree with folk art wax in the color Antique Wax and I'm just applying it with a baby wipe. Once the stain is dry, I'm hot gluing a button onto the stem and then I'm gonna hot glue the pumpkin onto the sign. Next, I have a piece of torn muslin to fit on top of the pumpkin. I'm stamping the word pumpkin on the muslin and then I'm gonna hot glue that onto the center of the pumpkin. Next, I'm gonna take a piece of torn homespun and attach it to the back with hot glue. Then I decided I also wanted to add some raffia, so I'm going to remove my bow and add some raffia and then replace my bow. I also had this little cinnamon broom on hand that I got at Dollar Tree. It smells so good. So I'm gonna trim a little bit of that and hot glue that onto this as well. And finally, I picked up these pumpkin clips from Dollar Tree and I'm going to clip one of the pumpkins onto this as well. And this is how the super cute mason jar turned out. Last up in today's collection, I'm gonna make a super cute pumpkin candle. I'm gonna begin by staining this wooden pumpkin holder that I picked up at Dollar Tree with folk art wax in the color Antique Wax. And this is how it looks once the stain is dried. Next, I'm gonna push a piece of floral foam into the center and then add a battery operated taper candle. I got this from a local shop, but I'll include a link for a similar one in the description below. Next, I'm gonna fill it with some raffia and a few little wheat stems that I had on hand. I'm also gonna hot glue a piece of torn homespun and a button to the front of the pumpkin. This was so simple and easy, and I love the way this pumpkin turned out. Okay guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and let me know in the comments below what your favorite fall craft was. And for daily decor and DIY inspo, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Mother Time. Thank you so much for spending time with me here today and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.